What is voice? In grammar, the voice of a verb shows the relationship between the subject and the object. The subject is the doer of an action, which is also known as the agent. The object is the receiver of that action. Active and passive voice. The active voice focuses on the subject. It is commonly used when the subject is the agent, which is the doer of the action. The passive voice mainly focuses on the action. Sometimes, the subject is unknown or unimportant. Let's look at this example. The car has been damaged. The subject is unknown, as we don't know who or what has damaged the car. Let's look at some examples of sentences in the passive and active voice in different tenses. Bob fixes the computer. The computer is fixed by Bob. Bob fixed the computer. The computer was fixed by Bob. Bob is fixing the computer. The computer is being fixed by Bob. Bob was fixing the computer. The computer was being fixed by Bob. Bob will fix the computer. The computer will be fixed by Bob. Bob is going to fix the computer. The computer is going to be fixed by Bob. Bob has fixed the computer. The computer has been fixed by Bob. Bob had fixed the computer. The computer had been fixed by Bob. Bob has to fix the computer. The computer has to be fixed by Bob. Bob must fix the computer. The computer must be fixed by Bob. Passive voice without the agent. The passive voice is used without the agent, when we we don't know who is doing the action. For instance, someone stole my dog this morning. In this case, I don't know who stole my dog, so the doer or agent is not mentioned in the passive voice. Therefore, the correct sentence in the passive voice is, my dog was stolen this morning. Let's look at another example of a sentence with unknown subjects, or doer of the action. People use the laundromat every day. The subjects or agents are people in general, so we don't really know who they are. Therefore, the correct answer is, the laundromat is used every day. Here's another situation when we don't mention the agent in a passive voice. We leave out the agent when we want to emphasize the importance of the action, rather than the agent. For example, everybody speaks English here. The agent is not important as the focus is on the speaking of English. Therefore, the correct answer is, English is spoken here. Let's look at another example. They did not break the ancient vase. When the agent is not important, and the focus is on the ancient vase that was not broken, we leave out the agent. So the correct answer is, the ancient vase was not broken. When we want to mention who carried out the action, we use the preposition, by, to introduce the agent of the action. This structure is used when the agent is important, and is necessary to complete the sentence, so that it will make sense. For example, a doctor examined the injured man. The injured man was examined by a doctor. Let us look at another example. See as Lewis wrote the Chronicles of Narnia. The Chronicles of Narnia was written by C. as Lewis. As you can see, it doesn't make sense if we don't mention the writer. When the active voice contains two objects, the personal object usually becomes the subject in the passive voice. For example, someone gave her a seat on the bus. She was given a seat on the bus. Let us take a look at another example. The man told him a funny story. He 
was told a funny story. When the active voice contains a preposition, it must be used in the passive voice. For example, he will look into the reasons for the decision. Into is a preposition. The reasons for the decision will be looked into. Here is another example. She will look after the kids very well. After is a preposition. The kids will be very well looked after. The passive voice is also useful when we want to avoid sounding repetitive. Take for example. Researchers found a link between loneliness and a person's mental and physical health. We can avoid word repetition by replacing the agent with pronouns. One way to paraphrase this is to use the pronoun, they, as a reference link. Another way is to use the passive voice without the agent. When the focus is on self-reflection, the agent, researchers, is left out. This is often the case in scientific writing where the agent is not mentioned. In this way, it creates a more objective tone. In other words, it allows the writers or speakers to create a distance between themselves and what they are writing about or saying. This is useful in reports of an event where the agent is not named or even blamed. Therefore, the event can be reported even if the agent is not mentioned or identified.